making fun of his horrible resume. Wait, what do you mean? In the in the chat. No, I just mean no. We could. I mean, he's not gonna see that, right? Or is he? He probably would. How would he see? Yeah. How would he see it here? Well, if he showed up. Well, he's not After gonna show up in the middle of us recording. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're recording now. So. Hey. Good morning, America, or good afternoon, whenever this podcast is released. Happy uh, Joe Biden Day and yeah. uh, <laughs> Kamala Harris. Although, apparently, my fiance told me that it's uh, Kamala, which is He's interesting. Sick, yeah, it's Kamala. Yeah, exactly. People, at least I have been listening to it and I've heard it as Kamala. So I apologize, Kamala Harris. It's racist, dude. If you're listening, yeah, you I'm so sorry much. for that. <laughs> Um, um. Yeah. Congratulations to Joseph. Uh, what's his What's his middle name? Is does he even something? have a middle name? No, it it's something. It's something awesome. It's like Reddington. It's not. No, 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 no. Hold on, Joe Biden. Sh- Joe America Biden. No, it's it's a it's a woman's name. I'm pretty sure it's Robinette. Ro- like Joe Robinette Biden. No. Wait a minute. Did you say Raisinette? Joe Robin- Raisinette. No, no, it is Robinette. Biden. Robinette. <laughs> How is so that not so an it's issue not, in the campaign? So it's not Raisinette, like the candy. <laughs> Raisinette. That's, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it's actually Robinette. There's no way. Most Dude, of them have. Pre- most of the presidents have had some pretty ridiculous middle names. You know... Do- Donald Trump's middle name was J. It was just, just the letter J. I J. thought it was John or something. Oh, is it? Well, I mean, Fuck. honestly, when history books reflect on this, they're going to point to the Trump campaign and how they didn't attack on uh, Raisinette enough. Yeah, that would have been it's, the game. Yeah. No, like, what a won't. dork. Your middle name is so... Middle name is a movie, <laughs> is a movie candy. You're right. You know what? It, he could have been way more petty. He went after his son, his entire family. Yeah. The love life of his dead son. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it, though. Yeah. <laughs> or would have done it. That would have been the last oh, yeah, straw. Yeah, his middle name. Yeah. Scorched who, Earth. Who's gonna, who's gonna, who is going to relate to Raisinette as a middle name? A Robinette. It's, yeah, I was about to, it's not Raisinette. <laughs> Whatever. Tomato, right. tomato. They're not going to relate. If there was a dude whose first name was like Kelly, you know that'd be an attack line. They'd be like, <laughs> girl. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Brock, Brock's name was Barack. So I think that was... That was <laughs> I did watch that video that you were talking about that one time where this woman was like, um, I just have some concerns about uh barack obama he uh he's an arab <laughs> and then and then he's just like no he's a he's a good guy <laughs> he's a good man <laughs> oh, that was amazing but it was like he looked everyone in the comments was like praising him because he was like showing any level of class towards his opponent when i don't think they were thinking like no he just kind of indicted every oh. single arab person yeah, that was actually a horrible thing he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But okay, then what is he going to do? He's going to be like, no, he's black, uh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were they expecting? <laughs> <laughs> My God. What a, I'd say what a different time we live in, but maybe not. <laughs> I mean, people were dancing in the streets. It almost didn't look like um, coronavirus existed for like maybe a couple hours of the day today. Yeah. Gonna be honest. Well, it doesn't exist if you're a Democrat. Just yeah. Remember that. <laughs> Our audience. If you're you a Democrat, you are you are automatically social distancing with six feet, and you're wearing a mask. So just don't worry about it. And you also have a special uh, immunization system that uh, makes you impervious to coronavirus. Yeah, you can't be racist. It's impossible. <laughs> you're immunized from that. Um, <laughs> you can't be you're... transphobic. <laughs> Uh, it's, you're immunized from being racist <laughs> dude he's he's ending racism joe yeah. biden is gonna end racism i'm i'm calling it he's this is this, these are my expectations he's gonna end racism he's gonna end uh he's gonna end disease <laughs> no dude that was in 2015 um barack obama put him in charge of the end the cancer that was like Joe's last job as vice president. 
He put him in charge like the U.S. Cancer Institute. He's like, I well, have faith that Joe will finish off cancer. <laughs> <laughs> what a tall order. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's the world we should live in, man, where the only issue is like cancer. It's like, ah, oh, who's going to come up with the vaccine first? That's this just, candidate or that, is that candidate? Was that a fuck you? Because didn't his son die from cancer? Yeah. Oh. So he's just like, I know who oh, can help no. us here. <laughs> Do you think he meant it just to troll him? <laughs> he just knew that he was going to fail, but then also he knew that he wouldn't be able to avenge, avenge his son's death. Honestly, Obama was playing 4D chess. Yeah, that was that was 4D. That was yeah, 5D dude. chess. That was... <laughs> no, he, what did he Joe was, do to him? He was playing, he was playing 6D Go in, his, <laughs> in Chinese, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Joe was playing checkers. <laughs> yeah. He was he was drawing uh, uh, tic tac toe boards oh with with a crayon. <laughs> that was poor Joe. What do you mean, poor Joe? Yeah, well, he's the most mean, powerful man in America right now. Yeah. Well, actually, is he though? On I feel like on January twentieth, he he will be. But is he right now? I bet he feels pretty strong. Yeah, he could. You know, probably woke up this morning. You know, someone reminded him his name. You know, someone he's they they reminded him what year it was, and then and then he realized he's a fucking president of the United States of America. <laughs> must just be. What a feeling that must be. It's like it's probably been this dude's dream for like forty years, regardless if you like him or not. Uh, no, 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 like seventy years. Seventy years yeah. Yeah. since he was like a. Young but man. I'm excited Wait. though for for everything. Sports are gonna be better. Sport. Uh, we're I gonna... have a theory about that. Oh really? Well, I didn't have anything. I was just saying it. Um. Well, see, it, if Donald Trump had lost by more, Tom Brady would have retired this year. Because the NFL is rigging it. Because he is like the last balance of people that don't watch NFL anymore because of like the kneeling and stuff. But they still like Tom Brady because he's like sort of you know the funky apolitical dad. But now that like that. Trump lost, then if Hulman picks shit, the base is not as big as we thought. So we're not going to rig it for Tom Brady anymore. And because Tom Brady can't win without cheating, his career is over. And you understand that, like, Joe Biden won, like, wasn't it 280 to 217? That's, yeah, but I'm saying if it was like 400 to one, if it was like 400 to 130, Tom that Brady not, would have suspiciously had like a knee injury tomorrow. Will that ever happen? That. Has that ever happened in the, in like the past, like, Seven Reagan, presidencies. Reagan won all every state but Minnesota in 1984. Wait, really? Since then, it's been like pretty brutal. Oh my gosh! What's in most of the states voted pretty similar back then, so there wasn't like these states that are 90 like percent like DC or something. Yeah. Wait, what are you? What are we? What are you? What are we arguing that Joe Biden barely won, or that he won by a lot? I yeah. Have no idea. Well, I, yeah. I I'm not he, following. He didn't win by enough to ruin Brady's career. No. Which is unfortunate for anyone that actually likes football. I kind of hope they keep doing the indoor basketball league. It was kind of fun. Yeah, I don't. I like having no fans there. Really? Why? Um, it took away like the uh, like the fan energy element. So every team kind of had like a level playing field. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, yeah. I see. I could actually see like the argument in that. Yeah. Well, oh, they see, lose but, a ton of money though. But every but Fuck. doesn't every team play in their home court at least twice or something like that? Or like what how do does mean? that work? What do you like mean? every every team like during the season or during the playoffs, like every team plays during like an even amount in oh, yeah. courts? Exactly. So wouldn't it balance out anyway? Um no, there's always one more game for the team with a better record. Oh, uh, okay. I, I see. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sports. <laughs> sports. That's why I wanted Joe Biden to win. <laughs> so that's sports. They stay in a bubble. Yeah. Honestly, it felt like this election was kind of like a, s- a sports. Yeah, no Maybe- shit, dude. Maybe like honestly, maybe America will just end up being like addicted to gambling because it's like people just love to watch the odds. No. Yeah, Baba Baba. Baba Tunde make... would be on my team, dude. No, he wouldn't. He would. Yeah. He would. He would look I don't at think you. Understand what I'm saying? 
Baba Tunde would would give you the suck. Dude, Baba Tunde is is what? very <laughs> Baba Tunde is very upset right now. <laughs> he he put he put all of his all of his figurative and liter, literal marbles into 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 Trump winning, and now he's just he's crushed. Oh, that, is, that is not what I meant. I, I was just talking about in general, like when you made that fashion comment, like oh, and you're like you can't force me, and I said in general, me, Roy, and Babatunde, you know. I don't know. I think I could. I could probably physically take all of you. I think Baba Tunde is the X Factor. Why? Because <laughs> he's awesome. I, I would know. just. I, I would just jog a little bit. Or so I would just run, like literally, run a circle around him. That's uh, that's not cool. <laughs> You're gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> it's offensive. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> In your masturbation <laughs> patterns. I'm talking, I'm talking to you, NRA flavored Ben and Jerry's ice cream. <laughs> Wait, NRA flavored? What would that even taste like? Um, <laughs> That'd be like that could be like black licorice and and uh, Jack Daniels. I think it would taste like a little bit of skull. Uh, it would taste like car exhaust a little bit. <laughs> Uh, it would taste a little bit like baseball. Baseball. Yeah. Uh, it would taste a little bit like um, white collar jobs. <laughs> it would taste. Um, someone interrupt me, please. It would taste a little bit <laughs> like <laughs> reading. Um, At a third grade level. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, he don't you there. guys? Isn't it weird when people bring up like reading comprehension levels? Isn't it weird that like it's always brought up like to the third grade level? Have you guys he- like heard of that? What are you talking about? When you just said it like two minutes ago. No, no, no. I but I mean, like in general, you- people have never like. Well, whenever I hear people comparing um, reading comprehension levels, they always use a third grade as a reference. Like, oh, you have a third grade <laughs> reading comprehension level. I'm yeah, like, I what think is this is a you problem, man. I'm really I read at a. At a 16th grade level. (laughs) I don't know how that's an insult to people. What? It's like, you you had really shitty school and growing up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You didn't have the resources, punk. (laughs) Unless you went to like a really good school and you still can't read, then you're just an idiot. I don't like this assertion that you you couldn't just, you know, teach yourself to read better than your school would teach you to read. (laughs) I think that's very uh, unfair of you. Oh, yeah. Mm. I know how mm. to read a couple words in Russian. Oh, oh yeah. shit, you're right. And I took 12 college credits on that. So <laughs> wow. who is that an indictment of? <laughs> you milked those credits hard. Yeah, 12 Why credits, you just maybe French? no. I don't think I even know 12 words of Russian, to be honest. Wait, is anyone else speaking static? Is, anyone else speaking... static yeah. is that from me or is that from Eddie? Or is that from you, Lance? I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I don't hear it either. They were static. All right, it's on, it's on Eddie's end then. Fuck, I speak really? a bit of French. I can probably, I probably know like 40 words of French. Wait, do I sound bad? No, you sound okay. fine now, but like a little bit. It's like, how do you even imitate static? Oh, dear Lord. For all you audible listeners out there. There you go. I don't, I don't know what the point of that was. <laughs> like there was static. It wasn't made up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. That's Fuck. Really Third trashing. grade level? No, it has nothing to do with that, actually. It's about Laquan. Oh, word. Do you guys see that? Do you guys what? Dude, sometimes my Amazon Fire Cube, not sponsored. Did you see it? It just went on. Well, maybe it's because yeah, I, I said that, the word. Actually. Some It'll go off at the most random Wait, say it again. Like, times. No, okay. It goes off Amazon. When, no, no. It, it goes off at that word. But sometimes what is an I'm Amazon not, Fire Cube? It's like a it's like a Roku, but with just Amazon. Um, oh, dude, why do you have that in your room? What do you mean? So I, I, I have a Fire TV stick. Oh my god, dude, I don't, dude, I don't care if they, if they listen to if they listen to our conversations. Honestly, yeah, what, what else they're gonna, are listening to? Yeah, exa- they're right. gonna get negative data. They're gonna be like, wow, these guys just, you know, nice. these guys are just doing it all the time. Like they're not even are they even speaking words? Doing what? We're not having like a virtual orgy here no but they, <laughs> they could, they, they're definitely going to figure out like the stuff that you want to buy for sure and they're going to figure out like the names of all your nice, friends though? 
No. I kind of want to know what to buy. <laughs> I don't. Use I don't want. I don't want someone to tell me what to buy though. Just because someone tell socks. Just because somebody tells me what to buy doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. That's the thing. That's I feel fair. like I'm too aware. <laughs> It'd be different if I didn't know that that was happening. But if I know that it's happening, you know, I'd be like, all right. Yeah, it just kind of freaks me out when they start selling like your information to like intelligence agencies and shit. That's true. And they're not even selling it; they're just giving it to them. Wait, honestly, wait. Did anyone else know, feel Amazon always? Wait, go ahead. What are you saying? Say it again. Who? You. You. Oh. You stopped yourself in the middle of a sentence. Oh, I was gonna say uh, I like being told what to buy because they do a pretty good job telling me what I like. You heard it here first, ladies. He just likes Lance is just submissive. So any powerful ladies what? out there, hit hold him on. Up. Wait, are you saying this because you're just you're just nervous that Amazon's gonna like come and get you or something? Oh no no, I don't use Amazon, except for my Fire Stick. Wait, what are you using to buy stuff? I don't really buy anything. I'll go. I'll like. I'll go to Best Buy or Target or something and buy it in person. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, what kind of do you? What kind of card? Oh, you have a Chase. Wait, but I thought you had an Amazon card. I did. I got the Amazon card so I could get a sixty dollars gift card so I could buy a webcam. But since then, I haven't used it. Huh. Wait, but it's a credit card, right? Like it's, a it's an action. Amazon credit card, yeah. I actually get like four percent cash back if I go to Whole Foods, which I live live right next door to. So you I just o- hate Whole Foods so much. So you opened up a new. Probably mainly yeah. because of Amazon. Uh. So you opened up a new line of credit just to get $60? When you say it like that, you know, it doesn't sound as promising. <laughs> but <laughs> What's the difference between giving money to Best Buy versus giving money to Amazon? I'm not sure there is one. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, guess, I, I, I like, like from a consumer choice stand, oh, what, what brick and mortar, st- if you're getting something from Best Buy, where you, what brick and mortar store are you going to go to? to get, Best like, Buy's a brick and mortar store. Is that not what that means? I, I just, I like physical stores. I don't like stuff being delivered to me. Why? I honestly don't know. It's like a really big pet peeve. But what is it stemmed from? I kind of, I kind of like seeing everything in per- I can like touch it and feel it out, you know? Yeah, then, I, I understand that. You never really but, know what you're going to get when you order. Well, you kind of do, but. Wait, what do you um, mean by that? You choose what you, I think, I think, I uh, never mind. Well, the issue is I always buy shit that's like knockoff. Like, I, I am never able to really afford the cool stuff. So, like, I don't know if what I'm getting is even... Like, the webcam, I, got, I wasn't going to buy a $300 webcam. Um, so, I got, like, a $60 kind of knockoff one. Yeah, but you're and not came forced in, to buy an expensive great. webcam on Amazon. I did buy... Well, it's in, if I'd gone to Best Buy, maybe I could just bought, like, one I knew what was good. From there, I could have tried it out. Probably would have been more expensive, though. It would have been. You're not priced out when you go to Best Buy. If you're on Amazon, no. you can spend however much money you want. Oh, that is true. Also, there are extensions for Amazon. Like, you can use extensions to find the best price and, like, the price history of a particular item within the Amazon marketplace. So, that you Print know. Amazon ad. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not supported <laughs> yes. by Amazon. It's a third party, but, like, it checks, like, the price history of a specific item on Amazon, and it tells you, like, oh, what is this price compared to, you know, last month or two months ago? You know, are they just overcharging you because it's Prime Day or some stupid shit like I that? Prime Day was cheaper. No, I mean it's, not, it's the same thing with Black Friday, dude. They just increase the prices. They don't increase that. the prices. They just they do decrease it a little bit. Wait, really? I, feel I like thought, they I thought the, the whole point of these days is to have a super sale. Well, so I thought they, they, they I thought increase the, the like the amount of people buying stuff. Well, I thought they increase it like um like a few weeks before it, and then they decrease it. Like a little bit, so you're still paying net overall more than the Where market are you price. This was. information that's that's <laughs> not that's not a thing at all that happens. Wait, really? Ooh, that's what no. people do. That's what they do on Black Friday. People like prices are increasing in general, like a few weeks before, and then it's lowered. I can buy that marginally. I don't know so if that... it's true, but I can buy it. Yeah, I don't know. Answer. This this conversation is so unfunny. I mean, I think I do. It is annoying that I get all my stuff from Amazon. They pretty much just have or. A t- like a, a very comprehensive idea of who I am and what I do but uh, it, it my life is less expensive because of it now so you get the shit that you want for them Dude, that's what the the yeah. virus taught me is stuff is nice okay 
you know, like when you're stuck at home, you want more stuff. <laughs> you don't want to just, uh, like, you can't just do fun stuff anymore. You have to buy stuff. Do you know what the virus taught me? What? Black Lives Matter. <laughs> wow. So who learned uh, the better thing? (laughs) 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 My gosh. (laughs) Well. (laughs) Um, uh, Yeah, what else did you guys learn during the virus? (laughs) I I don't even know. Um... You guys learn about disease? Too much. You guys learn any, like, uh, cool recipes? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I make the bit of bread. (laughs) Well, I got a new MacBook Pro during the virus. (laughs) Was it because of the virus? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. It was like somebody died because of the virus and they had a MacBook Pro <laughs> and then they just, they just sold it on Craigslist. It was like their dying wish and then Eddie just got it. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, I think that this, if, if I had to learn one thing from uh, the last eight months, it's the, the importance of having a nice computer. It's the importance of Zoom conference calls. Um, it's the importance of dry erase markers. Because you never know when those are going to come in handy. Yeah, where are you going with this? Uh, getting sick quick. Uh, the importance of... Um... Wait a minute. Hmm. Thank Dry... you. Dry... I don't I feel get like it. you're setting up a masturbation joke or something. But I don't know what the markers have to do with it. But I can see the other ones. I can see, like, it's shaping, you know? Well, if you don't see how the markers fit into that, Lance, <laughs> then you're clearly just not creating enough. Not doing enough. it right? Okay. You're not... Yeah, you're also just not doing it right. Yeah, dude. Oh God, what? <laughs> you you plain potato. Yeah, why Honestly, aren't you can't using a scenario? Um, oh my God, I see it. Well, there is that one subreddit that everyone kind of finds when they're young. Um, on Reddit, it's like that butt sharpies one. <laughs> what? You know what I'm talking about? No. What? No. <laughs> it's a, it's like that that one subreddit where it's it's called r slash butt sharpies. And it's just like it's just woman, st- like trying to set new records for the number of like sharpies that they can fit in oh. their ass. I thought this was a common thing. I don't. Maybe it's not. We're gonna see Papa Tunde not in the lawn when he's watching. Uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, I remember, I remember. <laughs> I, I, I remember that. Yes. Well, my the first day I was on Reddit. Yeah, that's the reason I started using Reddit. I'm pretty sure you're making this up. This is... I'm not making this up, dude. I'll share my fucking screen right now if you want me to. Wait, are the Sharpies capped or uncapped? Because if they're they uncapped... Are, they're capped. They're capped. Okay. But they're, that would be a house they're in. They're in the other side of... They're not in the cap first. That would be oh. weird. Yeah, that'd, that'd, be, be, uh, that'd be... Make the that would be disgusting. Wait a minute. But if it's not capped first and then you try to pull it out, then the cap's just going to come off and then you can't pull it out. No, so, but they're, who... they're all together. So when it's like using uh... the force... Of grabbing them all at once, you oh just God. pull you pull out the all of them. Oh, dear Lord. Wow, this it's is really these... annoying when you guys pretend like the things that I bring up are weird because oh yeah, we're totally pretending here. There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff in the world. Okay, yeah, this For is one sure. of the weirdest. We are pretending this... that we've never heard of this. Yeah, this, yeah. This please don't make me line. look like the 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 oddball of this <laughs> podcast. Like I'm not the one who brings up the most. Uh, you know, run of the mill stuff. All right. <laughs> butt sharpie. Wait, what? <laughs> it's called butt r slash butt sharpies. Does that mean that they just come out as proud sharpies after? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I believe there's a term for that. Lance, stop smiling. For the audience, Lance is just vehemently smiling. I'm not smiling. I'm cringing. <laughs> I discovered, I mean, I, I hate to come off as normie, but I've discovered a lot of things on, on Reddit that I otherwise would have just found on the regular internet if I was on, like, 15 years ago. Like, Vor? You guys know about that shit? No. There's, like, there's like a whole um, taboo of 
like sex acts where like people are like into the idea of someone eating them but like for sexual reasons wait like physically eating them like eating them with their mouth yeah and uh that's wait, we talk. We're talking about like nibble action, or like full on, like a full course dinner, like cannibalism, but to get off. Oh snap! How do they post that? Like, so they kill someone? It's like drawing. No, no, no. It's like drawings. Oh fuck! Why do you? Where do you find this stuff? I don't know. You think it's wait, Amazon it... just uh, pushing this on you? Yeah, it's it's right. on Amazon. No. Well, they know about it, so. <laughs> yeah, now they know. <laughs> they do know. Um, so it's called Vor. I'm not. What a weird name for it. Like, what, it what it? it's like the carnivore. Bee? Vor is like is oh. the is the word for eating in Latin. I think, like vore, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. That was a fun fact. Yeah. You're yeah, welcome. that was that was a fun fact that you know Latin. I don't know any Latin. Yeah, but the reason you know it is for probably not the cleanest reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. What else do I know about? Um, there's that one, that one uh, called Giantess, where it's like men that wish women were like, were like eighty feet tall. Oh, I've heard about, about that. that one? Yeah, isn't that like based on? Isn't that like why people like the Iron Giant so much or something? No. <laughs> yeah. No way. That doesn't even make sense. Oh wait, Lance, you're a big fan of the Iron Giant. I love the Iron Giant. <laughs> Not for that reason, but <laughs> the Iron Giant test. Oh god, that is. Dude, you just made that up, dude. That cannot be true. No. Why do, you, why do you think I'm that creative, man? This is like real shit. There's, don't make. Don't diminish the the lives of these these poor men on this subreddit that men. pour their heart and soul. Yeah, pour their heart and soul into these depictions and drawings. This could be you. I uh, I'll be this honest. Is you. <laughs> if we go in La Pot, like there's a there's definitely an overlap between the people that watch like the virtual no. rail fans. No. I think so. There's gotta be. There's like an overlap between the La Plata people and like R slash the Donald subreddit. But not like <laughs> it, it's 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 more what of a political <laughs> thing than a sexual thing. <laughs> yeah. La Pot no, I'm telling I, some of those people would make comments like I'm pretty sure they were sexually turned on by the trains going. No, that's you projecting weird thoughts onto them. Did you know? I have some screenshots from the comments, man. They they were just, they were just (laughs) probably. (laughs) Oh, fuck. He just won. Sorry. (laughs) Beat that out. (laughs) What if I made, I made a comment right now being like, oh man, I'll be honest, guys, it's getting me going. Join the club, babe. Except I use it on my, like, I use it on my official school account, my YouTube. (laughs) <laughs> has made uh, i've gotten in trouble with some comments I've made. have you really i think i told i made a comment about a tom brady video and some guy told me go kill myself <laughs> and he's like leave your mother's basement and go kill yourself you son of a bitch bastard loser <laughs> i was like what the fu-? And i went to his videos and they all had like three likes and like 40 dislikes oh dude it sounds like it sounds like Patreon us videos. it sounds like our youtube page yeah we do not have 40 dislikes no <laughs> i wish man <laughs> Yeah, that ratio. You get, get that, banned, I'm pretty sure. If your ratio stays that bad, you eventually get banned. I think there's something weird about the YouTube algorithm where if you get a ton of dislikes, your video will show up randomly and it'll be recommended to people. Cause, uh, I, controversial? I, that's happened a couple of times. Yeah, it's like a controversial like, uh, like uh, factor, I guess. Yeah, like well, that one Jake it. Paul video showed up for me one time, oh. but it's like one of the most disliked videos on the, on like YouTube. I thought they took that down. It's probably not. No, I'm not talking about the Suicide Forest one. I'm oh. talking about the one where he like he like confronted Cody Ko in a barber yeah, shop. Yeah, I bet I bet Larry knows what I'm talking about. He definitely does. It's a big Jake Paul fan. No, Logan Paul, sorry. Um, that doesn't really matter. Are you a big Logan Paul fan, Roy? No. Oh, fuck. I don't even know. What's the difference between Jake Paul and Logan Paul? Are they what do you mean what's the difference? They're, they're, yeah, they're brothers. They're uh, different people. Okay. Uh, I feel like Logan Paul is much more... Um, what's the word? Manage- not manage- um, watchable. Tame. 
Ta- no, what's like the word when it's like watchable but passable? Like I don't hate him, whereas Logan, uh, Jake Paul is just super annoying. I I actually, even though he did that weird Japanese forest thing, which to be honest, kind of funny. Uh, he uh he is like more watchable. Watchable, maybe. Uh, well, the other one's just annoying, dude. Like he's just an ass. No, well, Jake Paul is like he has a. Do you guys ever know those kids from high school who are like, "Yo, high school doesn't teach you anything. You don't know how to read. You don't know like the real world. You don't, he can't do your taxes. Like, why does yes, it? Why I doesn't it teach you kids. real world skills? But I he does that like to like forty million people like a week. Yeah. Whereas Logan Paul is just like, watch me drive my my uh my lamborghini like into the ocean six million views was that him no he does bullshit like that oh. it's like they're all just like him being really rich in uh in creative ways usually <laughs> he like he did this thing like a couple of months ago where he bought like the first pokemon cards and he was just like opening them Why? like s- d- destroying their value i guess um it was <laughs> So it was it was kind of it was it was something. He had you know Ben what? Shapiro on his show. He had Ben Shapiro on. He did have Ben Shapiro on his show. I feel like that's a weird mix. I I don't think J- Logan Paul said anything. I can't imagine he liked Ben Shapiro that much based on his I don't know what they would talk about. Ben would just like ramble about like owning the libs or something. <laughs> like, Logan, you want to debate? <laughs> Here are some facts. Facts don't care about your muscles, okay? All right. Or your Lamborghini. <laughs> the Japanese man was in a forest. He killed himself. Are you allowed to video something in a forest? Yes. Are you allowed to video something in Japan? Yes. Are you allowed to put <laughs> anything on YouTube? Facts. So why, what is wrong with Logan Paul putting videos of a Japanese man killing himself on YouTube? Nothing. I don't know where this is going. That, sounds, <laughs> just, that is exactly how that would go. <laughs> that is like line for line how that would go. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, maybe he just actually did that on the episode. We're going to have to check after this now. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's like, what the fuck? He's stealing my content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That- Ben's always the first, in like the Snapchat promoted videos, it's always like Ben Shapiro. It's like some weird comment, and he's always like given this weird face. And I just what? don't get why that. Like, if you're on Snapchat, he's always like the promoted I don't get videos. that. I don't, I don't, I don't get those in promoted videos. It'll be on the right. It'll be like, here, let me go through what I have right now. I want to meet oh, Ben yeah. Shapiro. Well, yeah, let, let's, let me go through my snaps and let me show you what's in my related stories. Oh, jeez. My top story is hooked on the look. Real life Barbie Pixie Fox finds her Ken. Bumble. Uh, well, we know what you look Washington at. Post, election 2020. Ben Shapiro show. As Wait, is the AI Daily Wire people. on Snapchat? I don't. I don't, I don't know think so. Is. Maybe. I don't uh, know. What then that there's is. a picture of Steve Carell from the 40. Oh God. Record breaking okay. faces. Born okay. different. Oh wait, here's a good one. Ready? Okay, I have. Uh, try not to laugh. Guinness World Records and the Washington Post. And then I have an ad. Those are the top four. Those are all ads. <laughs> yeah, technically they're all ads. But <laughs> wait, they have a they have a Guinness World Record one, and also like the Born Different ones. Yeah. Or, or, the, I, separate. I like the Born Different ones. I like those. Yeah. Those are those are pretty. Those are pretty great. Yeah. Some of them are like. There's this one kid, and his born different was that he had a lot of facial hair before when he was like eight years old. And there's other ones where like, I can't like I can't move my body. Yeah, my my feet are too big. My nose is like in my ass, so I can only smell shit and taste shit. You probably you would die, dude. That's you would die. You would die. But, but they are like that level of like horrible. Yeah. Or like they're ones where like you're like they're just like their legs are like two inches long. And it's like inspiring, but like they can't have them right next to like the the Guinness World Record ones, where it's also just like really strange stuff. So yeah. then I'm just gonna laugh at both of them. <laughs> so you just need to laugh at one of them to laugh at both of them. 
Well, it's like, what do you expect me to take this one seriously, and then this one's like important and and uh, it's what is it supposed to inspire me? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, congratulations to all the people from Born Different. I respect all of you, and I'm glad that Snapchat is paying you money to take advantage of your disability. Yeah, they're definitely really exploiting cool. those people. Do they even get paid? They probably don't get paid. They probably don't. They I mean, probably they, to be on there. they probably allure them by saying, oh my gosh, so many people can watch, look at your story, and then, you know, they might give you money. And Dude, that's like, literally oh, just a circus. Sure. That's like the, it's literally like a 1950 circus, but in 2020, mm-hmm. <laughs> but on Snapchat. <laughs> Who is with it? Yeah. I don't want to criticize Snapchat. Why? I don't what, know. Why? I have nothing really to. Why don't you want to criticize Snapchat? I'm just playing it safe, okay? Are you afraid they're going to come after you? Yeah, you just hear a knock on the door. It's a Snapchat filter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the filter. <laughs> They're gonna filter you out, you know. You get attacked by negative sepia. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't even know that why that's funny. <laughs> that's <such a> stupid. <laughs> Abstract. It's like so, yeah, it's like so abstract and <laughs> funny. <laughs> Didn't, wasn't there a, a Snapchat guy at uh, the school that we might have gone to? Yeah. <gasps> yes, he gave a talk and Laquan went to it. What, uh, <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what, where does he, uh, what does he do now? Is he a security guy? Is he like a software developer? I think he was like a yeah he was like a securities guy. It was like yeah, he was Snapchat. a part of the team that like ha- tried to hack into Snapchat and then they like found like the loops. I it's, still not, it's still not end to end encrypted. Which is uh I remember when I was gonna bring up the Delia stuff, but that wasn't because of ETE. That was just because. Well, that's just no. It's a feature in Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they can they can screenshot my messages. Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> two months later. <laughs> um, but you know, I wonder I'm, if any politicians use Snapchat. I think a few of them have gone down because of it. Wiener. <laughs> didn't was, well, didn't Wiener get in trouble? Was it because of Snapchat or just text? Sexting? Oh, but those might have just been like text messages. There was yeah, a guy in North it? Carolina that was just got sexted out. Uh, like a a, a government person. No, he was running for Senate, and then he had a sexton scandal, and then his numbers dropped. Wait, is this the guy that uh, AOC endorsed? No. Do you know who I'm talking about? This is a different guy. Okay. Because there was that one who, like, uh, was, like, sexting with someone in, like, the college Democrats. (laughs) But I think think he still won the race. (laughs) Yeah, I think he defended himself. I don't think he tried. Yeah, I think he defended himself and was, like... uh, it's like I do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and AOC was like, he does do what he wants. Okay. I almost prefer that to people being like, I made a huge mistake. I'll never do it again. No, it's a good yeah, it's like whatever. You man. definitely will. Like I don't know why the college Democrat kid was like trying to get him in trouble. He wanted him to win the race. <laughs> I mean what Uh oh. Alright, never I alright, I don't wanna no, I mean I knock on the door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to help them. I am yes. trying to help them. <laughs> they could pay you for consultant. I'm just saying, you know what's the what's the problem? If you're yeah. like a, if you're I, oh wait, wasn't the problem that he was like maybe the the college Democrat kid was trying to get a job in like oh. he was trying to get a job in the DNC. Uh-oh. And he was, I guess he thought that if he had sex with this guy that he would get a job. It's like, it's like Eddie, Eddie's <laughs> running, yeah. Eddie's running for office and like a major scandal breaks out. And then Eddie just comes on and says, what's the problem? What's right? the, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I would prefer that. If that happened, I'd vote for you. Like, I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. Yeah. There was a one time fling. Yeah. It would happened. show it would show me that you're very relatable. <laughs> Honestly, watching Joe Biden win kind of made me want to go into politics. 